I've talked to a number of NFL personnel executives at the high level just over the last several days since this whole Jared Goff Stanford thing, uh, Matthew Stafford thing has been going on. Um, and I've talked to other people just in general. And we had Mike Tannenbaum, Mike Tannenbaum, former general manager, on yesterday, I think it was, or the day before. And he said pretty much the same thing. Like, is it, like, is it that big of a jump? Mm -hmm. Are we going from a very bad, bad quarterback to Aaron Rodgers or Drew Brees or Tom Brady? Like, are we, you know, is it massive is it upgrade? Massive upgrade. Or is it just a tick? And is a tick good enough? to ultimately get you to the Super Bowl. And if it is, then it's a great move. But if you're in a divisional round in a wild card playoffs and you lose and you go home, or even if you got to the Super Bowl and you lost, it's the same thing. Again, Goff, four years, three playoffs, one Super Bowl appearance. And as Jay has said, he does admire, and I think many people do, that the Rams have gone all in. They're moving all in away, of course, from – Jared Goff. So if Coach McVay is listening in uh, Los Cabos, Mexico, where apparently I've been seeing uh, all over the place, he's hanging out with his uh, fiance. This one's for you, Coach McVay. Here we go. Jared Goff to Sam Farmer, great NFL writer for the Los Angeles Times, on the move to move on. Quote, as the quarterback, as the guy that's at arguably the most important position on the field, if you're in a place that you're not wanted and they want to move on from you, the feeling's mutual, Goff told the Los Angeles Times. He went on to say, quote, you don't want to be in the wrong place. It became increasingly clear that was the case, end quote. Increasingly clear he was in the wrong place, Keith. You, you, you know, you're, you're not in the wrong place till you're in the wrong place, right? Two years ago, hey, I love you, Zubin. We're great. Here's a new contract. Two years later, get out. I don't like you. You fumble too much. You, you throw the ball away. I, I get I get what coaches see, and they do. I understand it, and I learned it from Bill Parcells in my career, and Evan, our producer, will remember this. Adrian Morrell, running back that we had uh, in 1997, was good. Adrian rushed for, I don't know, 1,300, 1,400 yards? A lot. A lot of yards. <laughs> but then we went and got a Hall of Famer that essentially rushed for the same amount of yards Curtis Martin mm -hmm. is Adrian Morrell. We traded and we got Curtis and we paid him big money, and I couldn't really understand it. But for whatever reason, Coach Parcell said he's going to give us something that we don't have. And I'm looking, I'm going, well, that's the same guy. Mm -hmm. But when I got Curtis, I'm like, oh, okay, I see what this is. He's a different back that does different things, and he dominates at a different stage in a different way than Adrian Morrell. So, therefore – it kicks us over the top. Mm -hmm. I got it. Okay. And so when I look at the Stafford thing, I understand what Sean may have seen. There's one or two games that they probably could have won, the Miami Dolphins, the New York Jets. If he has Matthew Stafford, there's those Ws now, and maybe they're in a different seating, and now maybe they have home field advantage throughout the playoffs instead of going on the road. So I get all of that. But I also – have to look at the body of work in Matthew Stafford. Statistically, yes, he throws for a million yards in Detroit. They're behind all the time. You're going to throw for a million yards. That's what happens in a passing league. But can he take his skill set to a team that may have better offensive weapons with an aging offensive line and give you what you're looking for, Jay? Look, man, I, I, I commend Jared Goff on the way he handled that interview in a day and age where a lot of people say exactly what's on their mind. I think he was very professional and strategic with that approach. And, and Key, I agree with the latter point that you made. You know, in, in, in any given Sunday, if, it's, if this is a game of inches, that tick better, maybe with a better arm, but maybe just with the way he leads. I feel like that was the one thing, I, and I don't know because I don't know internally how people deem Jared Goff. But the way I hear people talk about Matthew Stafford is that from a leadership perspective, it feels different. And sometimes that leadership style could be the thing that gets you over the edge. Lastly, I would just, I agree with everything you guys said. There's something about McVay when you have the league's top ranked defense and you're the innovator and you're 18th in scoring, that's going to tick off a guy like that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.